Hmm. Might check, might check. Yo, so I haven't been reviewing movies for a while now. Been busy with online camps and also was taking a lot of rest during the past few days. And I managed to watch a couple of movies. If you see the title, that would be Conjuring 3, Spiral, Wrath of Man. Last but not least, Those Who Wish Me Dead. So I'm just gonna do a quick movie review format here. I'm not gonna be around the boost too much, just gonna get straight to the point of why I think about these movies. So let's get into it. The Conjuring The Devil Made Me Do It is the third entry of the Conjuring series. The Warrens return on another very sinister case about demon possession. Out of all the spin offs and the Conjuring uh, main series, this one didn't. Uh, hold up too well. I mean, yeah, you know, those scary scenes, pretty standard, you know, yeah, if you have watched a lot of horror movies, it's like the textbooks of ABC, you know what's gonna come. Very predictable jump scares. But one thing I do kind of like is there is some kind of uh, detective vibes there about, you know, they're trying to connect the dots of what is the relation between this case and this other thing and when I was watching the movie I can't help to feel that you know like they made this uh, satanist in the movie like the main villain it feels like wait so it doesn't make sense so with this unfortunately it made Conjuring 3 kind of weak it's unfortunately like one of those uh, movie franchises where the trequel is just meh Next up, we have Spiral, the spin-off of the Saw series. I think it was a few years ago when it was reported that Chris Rock has an idea for this uh, spin-off of Saw. At first, I really thought to myself like, can he really pull it off? Like, I was just really curious on what kind of idea he had. And now that I've sat down and watched the movie uh, a couple of days ago, I feel that, yeah, I can get on a bit. I can. Uh, get on board with this villain's motif. You can also see that some of the scenes were paying homage to the Saw series which is very obvious but one thing that's kind of weak in the movie I think is it's very predictable that you can guess the villain about maybe halfway through the movie. You know like for me a person who regularly watches horror thriller kind of movies my detective brain you know is just spinning and it's like could be that guy and you know what do you know also the ending uh i have to say that it ended quite abruptly like it kind of like tried to match the typical ending of saw of like you know that jen, 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 jen. you get what i'm saying but yeah i think overall it's just fine could have been better but definitely i think it's better than Conjuring 3. Next up, Wrath of Man. I only have two words to describe this movie. Jason Statham, man. Oh wait, there's three words, but it, it's a very badass movie. If you watch the trailer, this guy's son who tragically died and this man is on a mission to find out who did it, right? That's basically the premise of the movie. It's very simple, but entertaining. This movie is directed by Guy Ritchie. He's the one who also directed The Gentleman. I have to say that these two movies, Wrath of Man and The Gentleman, are very similar. I think the structure-wise is a copy and paste in some ways. When you watch the movie, the pieces will unfold itself one by one and it didn't feel too, too draggy, too long enjoyable and it's just so satisfying watching Jason Statham getting his revenge so yeah last but not least I think this is the movie that I enjoyed the most the title is Those Who Wish Me Dead it stars Angela Jolie she is still good looking still hot from the trailer you might get the vibe of like oh is this some kind of like a John Wick female version or something um, no not really this story is just about a woman who is trying to deal with her past trauma day by day and you know just one day just came across this unfortunate accident about some conspiracy uh, stuff that's happening so now she's you know 
protecting this kid from being killed. For me, the strongest point of this movie is the amazing character development of Angelina Jolie. Because nowadays, right, when you see these uh, lefties, the left wing, they are trying to promote like feminism. Oh, I'm so strong. Yeah, we are good as men as well. And you know, this movie is actually pushing for feminism as well. But it doesn't feel forceful. They know what they are doing. They are vulnerable. They are scared. But that's what makes them brave. And that's the one of the main themes about the movie. Character development is so important. This movie does not rely on exposition. Actions speak louder than words. They just tell you who the character is through their actions. They don't need to tell you like, oh here, she's a firefighter and and she is so brave, she led a team of men, her. I just wish studios can really take note of that. So there you have it, these are the 4 movies that I've watched. Uh, as you can tell, Those Who Wish Me Dead is my favorite pick along with Wrath of Man, these two. I would highly recommend it. As for The Conjuring Tree and Spiral, um, they are watchable. Um, but if you're bored and have nothing to do, um, just watch them. But what do you think about these movies and which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll be seeing you soon. Able out. Ciao.